So I just got my 2015 Michigan buck back. I just placed that year amount up on the wall. And as I was doing that, I got to thinking of something that happened last week. My cousin Jack came to visit from Washington State. And he grew up on the side of the family that are not hunters. So he doesn't have any experience uh, with any of the hunting stuff that I do. And as he walked in my living room, I remember him looking at all the shoulder mounts on the walls and the antlers. And I remember getting this like nervous sensation. I started like getting a nervous sweat. And I was worried about what he was thinking about his assumptions about you know, if he was judging me or what I do and putting all these dead animals on my wall and what he thought about that. And I think the reason I felt that way is because there are a lot of misconceptions and judgments about trophy hunting and trophy hunters. And, and I hate that. I don't like that terminology because of all the associations to it. But because of that, I felt compelled to, to, to pour out all this context told my cousin so many, all these things about these deer and the stories and the experiences and all that I went to it and why I keep these antlers on my wall and what they mean to me. And I think this is something that stems from these judgments and assumptions that people have about trophy hunting in that most non-hunters think that a person that keeps antlers or mounts or heads on their wall is someone who just killed that animal for no other reason than to put a decoration on their wall and to feel big and tough and, and have something they can brag about. And of course, those of us that actually do participate in a hunt and keep antlers or shoulder mounts, we know there's so, so much more. I mean, when I just put this these antlers on the wall here, I, every time I sit down here and now look back behind me, I'm going to think about so many things. I'm going to think about that October 1st evening and the cool breeze coming through and the deer stepping out of the brush from behind me. I'm going to think about all the time that went into planting the food plots, hanging that tree stand. I remember those couple hours I spent sitting in the tree watching all these deer around me and just soaking it in and just, just remember regardless of whether I killed anything or not that night just remembering what an amazing experience to be able to sit here and watch nature and participate in this 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 world this environment when I when I look up there at those antlers I'm going to think about the months and months of meals that that deer has provided I'm going to think about the life that that deer gave and, and how appreciative I am of that and how appreciative I am of the opportunity to participate in that cycle of life. There's so, so much more to antlers on the wall. I don't like to think of it as a trophy. I think of it as a memorial, as a totem of a symbol of something that's very deep and very important and very natural. So I think as hunters, it's incumbent upon us to help tell that story. Because if we don't, non-hunters are going to make their own assumptions based on the media, based on whatever poor experiences maybe they've had in the past. And those assumptions typically are not going to help our cause as hunters. So my, my call to action would be to help share that context, to help tell that story. When people see your mounts or your antlers, share them everything that goes into it. Share with them what it means to you and share with them why we keep these antlers and these shoulder mounts and these totems and memorials to the animals that we hunt and kill and eat.